Hello and welcome back. Uh, I have a few questions about uh, what are the type of, uh, I guess, functions that you need on a calculator when it comes to the AP test. So we'll just go ahead and kind of clear that up right now. Uh, and then that will probably put a close to everything then, all right? So uh, the first thing that you're going to need is, uh, here, let me go ahead and write this down because there's like, really, you know, you need to... Uh, you know, have it somewhere, right? The first thing you need is going to be the zero function. So Z E R O. Okay, so zero function. And here's what that means. So uh, if I go to my calculator over here, uh, you'll notice that uh, sometimes I want to solve for the x intercept. So that is where the zero function comes in. So you're going to go ahead and push second and trace right here. And uh, there it is, the zero function. Uh, at that point, you have to tell your graphing calculator which zero you want to solve for because there could be more than one. So we're going to go ahead and give it a boundary. So let's say we're going to try to solve for this one that's over here. So first, I'm going to go ahead and bound it on the left. And uh, you're going to move the cursor to the left. You're going to push Enter. And then you're going to move the cursor to the right and push Enter one more time. And then it'll show you where that zero is. So right there on the top, uh, X is equal to 3.271. So that's going to be the uh, first one. Now, another thing that you're going to need is going to be the intersection because sometimes you have to call for the intersection between two graphs. So let's go ahead and write that word down. Intersection. There you go. Okay, there it is. Okay. So for the intersection, it's basically the same idea. We're going to go ahead and go to the graph. Uh, we'll go ahead and put another equation in there. So maybe something like, say, just plain old x to make it a little bit simple. And we're going to go to the graph then, and there it is. And just like with the zero function, you need to tell the calculator which intersection that you want to solve for because there could be more than one. So I'm going to go to go to second calculate. And you'll notice probably by now that all of these things that I'm looking for that you need for the AP test will be in this calculate uh, section. So we're going to go to the intersection right here. And let's see, we'll go ahead and say, hey, let's go ahead and solve for uh, this one because it looks like there are two over here. So we got to be very careful. So I'm going to bound from the left. Okay. And then over here, I'm going to bound it from the right. And there you go. That's going to be the intersection. So pretty straightforward for the most part, right? All right. Now that that one is done, uh, the third one that we need, and uh, well, it looks like I'm kind of running out of space right here, so let me go ahead and bring my other foot in. Oh, look how dirty this thing is. Uh, is going to be the derivative. So D-E-R-I-V-I-T-I-V-E, uh, -E, okay? So that means you're gonna need to solve for the numerical derivative. This. I think I accidentally took a picture of my foot, but hey, it's okay. Uh, so for the calculator part, there are two ways to do this solving for the uh, numerical derivative. You can either go to second and trace and tell it where to look for the derivative. So over here, for example, oh, actually, let me go ahead and kind of clean that up. I'm going to get rid of that second function and go to second calculate, and then you can do the der derivative right here. So this part, I'm just going to go ahead and move it left and right. If you want, you can go ahead and punch in the numerical value. So maybe like say 1.5. And then so there it is. The derivative is negative uh, 0.179. Now, another option is you can go to the main screen and do that as well. So if you go to math, uh, you scroll down and there's the numerical derivative option. Uh, you can literally either put the function in there if you want, or you can actually just go ahead and say y sub 1, either one should be okay. So here I'll just go ahead and put like say x squared at x equals to 2, and there's the derivative. Or if you want, we can just go ahead and like we said, uh, clear out this guy right here and put in the function that is in the equation over there just to save a little bit of time. And there it is. Okay, so either one should be okay then. And finally, uh, for the last thing that we need, uh, it's uh, going to be the integral or basically the area under the curve. So it's going to be the area under the curve. There it is. God, my, I need to take a bath after this. This is like just disgusting. All right. So for that one, uh, you guys pretty much use it quite often already. Uh, another way of saying it is that you're using the finite integration. So if you go to your graphing calculator, uh, again, just like with the numerical derivative, there are two approaches. You can either go to second calculate and go ahead and choose the seventh option, which is the antiderivative. You tell it the lower bound where you want to start, which in this case, let's just go ahead and say one. And then you can go ahead and tell it where it ends. So let's go ahead and say uh, 1.9 then. And uh, there is, oh, I think I actually pushed the wrong thing. So let's see, hopefully I can get the right one this time. 
uh, let's see, this is going to be from 1 and then all the way to 1.9 and then equal and uh huh that is kind of strange i don't know why is it actually not showing up well anyhow let me go ahead and do it the other way just in case go back to the main screen over here uh we can go ahead and go down to the finite integration and just like before you just go ahead and put in the upper bound and the lower bound so let's say from one to uh 1.9 and then for the function we'll just do the same as last time we're going to go ahead and say y sub 1 over here and then dx and then push enter well there you go that's your answer all right, so there it is. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, of the four different things you need, it's going to be the zero, the intersection, the derivative, and also the area under the curve, all right? Good God, let me go ahead and take a bath now. This is just nasty. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.